They're in more intelligent than just idiots. They're just saying that I do steroids, and that's their interpretation of it. They're not saying that you could be like me at 13 years old, jacked to the freaking bone. You gotta man up, seriously. You all need to be a little bit more manly. Hello, detectives. I've had lots of requests for Mike O'Hearn, so we'll be analyzing him today. We're going to watch a video he made called Addressing the Steroid Videos to determine if he's lying about being natural. If this is your first time here, I'm the Deception Detective. I'm an attorney who has been trained in statement analysis, and this channel is all about teaching you how to spot liars. Without further ado, let's listen. We got a little side note here. We got a debate comprehension a comprehension is just basically if somebody gives you information can you comprehend it can you understand it can you digest it can it be helpful for you here's the scoop something that me and my team love because this is the side job this is the stuff i like to do this is fun i want to give that information real job is other stuff where i make the real living this i want to give to those people but i also want to give okay we're off to a bad start and here's why in statement analysis the most basic rule is the shortest answer is the best answer that is because when people are telling the truth, they don't need to mince words, give caveats, or go on tangents to avoid the subject. Mike titled his video Addressing Steroid Videos, so we're expecting to hear the words at some point, I am natural, little side note here, or I do not do steroids, debate, or I have never done steroids, um, comprehension. We've been watching for almost a minute now and we still haven't heard those words. Does Mike going on a tangent mean he's on steroids? No, but we can't conclude that he's natural either because he hasn't told us he is. Let's keep listening to find out if he ever actually does say he's natural in this video. But I also wanna give it to the people that can comprehend it or the people that are appreciative to the information. Now I know that's not everybody. I get that, fully understand that. But that is why today we're gonna to jump on and go up the level of kind of cleaning out the YouTube like we did. We did a cleansing of the Instagram page. So a lot of blocking, getting rid of stuff that's not necessary for us. And we're gonna do the same thing for the YouTube. We're gonna even up the level even more so because I can see the comprehension is pretty bad. Mockery is a concept that comes up often in statement analysis. When someone is lying, they will say bad things about the people they are lying to. I'll explain why they do that later in this video since it does come up again. For now though, just remember that Mike said that his YouTube subscribers subscribers have bad comprehension skills. Does this make him a liar? Not necessarily, but enough small trees make a forest. If you've seen any of my other videos where I break down these fake natties, you'll know that mockery is a common theme. I want to say to the youngsters, if you can't comprehend it, make sure at this stage not to say nothing. In time, you may, you may understand it or something like that, but don't put yourself in a situation that you're blocked and then one of the few guys that has been able to stay in shape for 40 years in the health and fitness industry can teach you something. If not, don't worry about it. It's not a big stress. The majority of uh, the titans, the guys that really absorb this stuff, actually apply it. Those are the guys I'll probably know. The guys that are just talking smack, I probably won't know you. More mockery. This time, Mike called his believers titans, which means his critics are non-titans. Liver King does the same thing. He calls his believers primals and his critics subprimals. Why do liars do this? I'll explain why next. Let's just keep listening for now. Again, this is probably a youth thing relative to an adult thing. Try to chill the snowflake within you. Mike O'Hearn is, for lack of a better phrase, liver king on steroids when it comes to mockery. So far in this video, he called his critics low comprehension, non-titans, and now they're snowflakes. Does this mean he's lying? At this point, probably. And here's why. Honest people may be frustrated and annoyed by their critics, but they don't make fun of them. And it's not because they're better people than people who lie. It's because people who are telling the truth know that they can change the minds of their critics with proof. In other words, their goal is to prove their critics wrong, not silence them. When someone is lying though, they know they can't prove their critics wrong because there is no proof. So their best and only option is to shut them up. Mike O'Hearn is mocking his critics probably because he knows he'll never be able to change their minds because he knows there is no proof he can offer them here's what i see that you're not comprehending the comprehension of making sure that your body recovers gets healthy 
um, train less so there's not as much mileage on your body. And we talked about this with Matt Wenning the other day. I can see that you guys are not comprehending that. And I want you guys to go back, watch yesterday's video, and really pay attention to what he's talking about. It looks like Mike is liver king on steroids when it comes to tangents too. We're about halfway through his addressing steroids video and he hasn't denied anything yet, even an indirect denial. And if you want an example of an indirect denial, that's coming up next. Now, for the understanding from uh, a couple of the people that put out videos about steroids and stuff, now understand that they're just saying that I do steroids and that's their interpretation of it. They can say whatever they want to say. What they're not saying, and I guarantee if they see this, they're going to say they're not saying this either, is don't assume that you can do steroids for 40 years. It doesn't work that way. As I always say in my videos, most people don't like to lie or make things up. Even pathological liars try not to lie because they know they can get caught. So if someone wants to deceive you, they'll usually do it by leaving something out. When we look at people's denials in these Natty or Not videos, we're especially looking for places where they avoid the question, use too much persuasion, or change the subject. Michael Hearn said, don't assume you can do steroids for 40 years. It doesn't work that way. That is not the same thing as saying, I'm not on steroids or I'm natural. He wants us to draw that conclusion for him, but he doesn't say it himself. If you've seen my Liver King videos, you'll know Liver King does the same thing on Impulsive, Kenny KO, Birdcast. Does giving an indirect denial mean Mike is on steroids? No, but we can't say he's natural either. Until he says those exact words, we won't put them in his mouth. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you want more content like this, please hit the subscribe button. I upload every week and only cover the most interesting people, topics, and current events. If you already subscribed, thank you. Drop a comment below and let me know who you'd like me to analyze next. They're only saying what their interpretation or what their beliefs are. What they're not saying, I hope they're not saying, they're in more intelligent than just idiots. They're not saying that you could be like me at 13 years old, jacked to the freaking bone, and by 51, be still jacked by freaking bone. But all you gotta do is steroids. Come on, nobody's that dumb. And this is a straw man. No one is saying that, right? They're saying he works out hard and takes steroids. They're not saying you get these results from simply taking steroids alone. So comprehend this stuff, understand this stuff. Those guys can have their opinions. It's their beliefs, their opinions. I'm giving you gold gold to take, apply, go out and show the world that you can do it and you could even be better than me. So do what you can. I love this stuff. Comprehend it. Chill on the ignorance and chill on not, if you don't comprehend something, chill, chill. Uh, seriously, just keep your mouth shut. Don't say nothing. Once again, if someone can't change their critics' minds, their only choice is to shut them up. Mike said, if you don't comprehend what he's saying, which seems to be his little way of saying, if you don't agree with me, just keep your mouth shut. Liver King did the exact same thing on Impulsive. If you don't believe this is possible, then I suggest that you take that self-limiting belief, you put the chin in a fucking box, and you bury that next to all your embarrassing and don't open your fucking mouth about it. You feel like talking smack? Talk smack, man. But... Be funnier, right, Jeff? Yeah, they yeah you guys got to be funny. They get up that just, a little bit. Yeah, if you think you're funny and you're not funny, yeah. I'll probably block you. We're pretty funny over here. I don't believe that. I don't need to be a statement analyst to tell you that they're not pretty funny. Comprehension is a big thing. Um, your beliefs are your beliefs. If you cannot move outside of that or understand other stuff, you'll be stuck in your own little world. And that's the problem. Little. You guys, we can see a majority of your photos and they're terrible. My goal, stay positive, stay motivating, stay cool, stay fun. This is fun. This is a part-time thing for me. I have fun doing it, giving you information. But seriously, you guys with this whole uh, new culture, you got to man up. Seriously, you guys, you, got, you all need to be a little bit more manly. More mockery. And wait for my conclusion because I think there's a reason he uses mockery and tangents. I'm going to go check on fake Natty right now. Here's my final thoughts. Do I think Mike O'Hearn takes steroids? Yes. In fact, Mike O'Hearn is probably the least sophisticated of the Natty or Not athletes I've analyzed yet. Um, your beliefs are your beliefs. And by least sophisticated, I mean the least sophisticated liar. I don't know if he's religious or not, but the fact that he avoids lying in any way except by omission makes me think he is deeply religious. That's not a bad thing, but because Mike doesn't like to lie, we were able to look at some of the more basic ways to tell if someone is lying, like mockery and tangents. Normally, you don't see this in 50 year old men, right? They're usually much more advanced liars. You see this in children. If you want to see an example of me examining someone who's a pretty sophisticated liar, check out my video on David Laid. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and comment for the algorithm. Until next time, stay true.